Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at a new concept called the minor of a matrix. And we need that in order to be able to talk about determinants and you'll see the connection in just a moment. The minor, which is written like with an M and with the subscripts I and J, where the I stands for the row and J stands for the column. And thus the minor M, I, J of a matrix is formed by removing the i -th row and the j -th column. So whatever the i is, you remove that row, and whatever the j is, you remove that column. Here we have a matrix A that's a 3 by 3 matrix, and what we're going to do is find the minor 1, 2 and the minor 2, 3. So what you do is you first rewrite the matrix. Put all the same elements in there, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 2, 3, and 8, and minus 3, 2, and 1. And then you're going to remove the first row and the second column. The first row is this row right here, so just put a line right through it. There you go. And you're going to remove the second column, this column right here. And what's left is going to be the minor, which means that this can be written as a 2 by 2 matrix, which has the elements 2 and 8, and minus 3 and 1. Let's do it again, and by the time we do the second one, I think you'll figure it out, you'll understand how to do this. So again, we're going to copy the original matrix A, which is 1, minus 1, minus 1, 2, 3, and 8, and the third row, minus 3, 2, and 1. Here we have to find the minor 2, 3, which means we're going to remove the second row and the third column. The second row is this row, the third column is this column. That leaves you with these four elements, which make up the minor. That's a 2 by 2 matrix now. This is equal to 1, negative 1, negative 3, and 2. And so it's actually, once you know how to do it, it's not very difficult. And that's how we find the minor of a matrix.